What a way to start off, guys. 99 farming. My favorite skill, absolutely. And of course I rushed this. Of course I did. I could have done it way faster too, but you know, I was focusing on other skills. Probably going to go for 25 mil passively. I'm going to slow down a little bit though, now that we're 99. And can't forget to claim the 250, almost 7,500. Anyway, I've been doing some thinking since the 200 mil, and I decided on nothing. I have, I don't really know what I'm doing. So we're just going to go and use up some of the Wintertod supplies, work through all these uh, supplies over here, get some levels, and then see where I'm at from there. Maybe doing all these odds and ends will give me ideas on what I really should do next. You know, I just realized I never showed you guys my cash stack after the fire making. We almost had a million GP, so 900,000, not bad. I'm going to make this inventory of planks quick, and this will make sense in just a bit. Okay, first things first, I'm going to make a workshop, and I'm going to make the tool stores so I can get the molds for crafting. All right, made sure to grab all the molds and the glass blowing pipe. Next, I'm going to make a chapel, which should be pretty spendy, actually. Yeah, 50k, ouch. But this is going to prove important later on. A limestone altar, which is the best altar in the game for Twisted League. And don't worry, I'll be making these burners. I kind of forgot about them. For high XP bones, it might be better for me to collect them and then use them on the altar later. Thankfully, fire making knocked out all the construction, so I don't have to worry about any of the levels. Now for the fun part. I'm going to be using up all the resources. And yeah, we're starting with 40 smithing. Just hit 41 and starting with 44 crafting. And for anyone who cares, I'm using the silver bars to make the tiaras. Probably the best way to use up these silver bars, considering it's like 52.5 XP. I think base, it's gonna be a hell of a lot of crafting. Made all of the steel bars, the gold bars, and all the tiaras. On to the gems now. I always find it very fun cutting gems. It's just so satisfying. And look at that XP rate with the 20 times crafting. I cut all the gems. And I'm going to be making three important pieces of jewelry before I forget and make everything and don't have them. So we're going to be making a magic amulet. We're going to make a strength amulet and a power amulet. Now for the actual gems, we're just going to make them for experience. The only difference is sapphires I'm going to use on games next. So I think those are probably the best use for them. And the other three gems, we're just going to make into amulets. Because the elk value doesn't change very much, and it's just a slightly better experience. Well, that sucks. Uh, I could have swore I'd have enough gold bars, but I ran out, and we still have 70 more diamonds. Damn it, that's so much XP. From that adventure, we got 76 crafting, which is pretty good. I, I'd get pretty close to uh, 80 if I did those diamonds. And then 60 smithing. On the nose. So if we claim these tasks, should be another 200 points. Oh no, sorry. 100. I forgot the, they're 50 tasks. My bad. So yeah, 100 more points. Uh, we did use up pretty much everything we need to. We have a lot of logs we can use, but pretty much done. Now I'm going to use these steel bars and I'm going to make some arrow tips, but I also want to make some knives for early range training because these arrow tips are going to be used for early uh, magic short bow. But to get to 50 range, I need to get some knives. You know, while I'm here, I may as well grab a Konar task. I haven't started Slayer yet, so to save a trip, let's see what we get. 42 Hill Giants. That is absolutely perfect. I was already planning on it, Konar. Thank you. These should definitely last a very long time. 62 Smithing as well. Now for the next grind. I think I'm going to knock out 99 Thieving. Recently, they made it so you can get a lock pick in raids, so it's so much easier to get now. Thankfully, I didn't have to grind very hard for this. But because there's so many people doing artifacts, uh, the guards should be lured more correctly. So it actually should be a lot faster than when I originally did it. So this is going to be a very fast grind, I feel like. We're going to test out the XP rates. Like I was saying, I mean, look at that. That guard is now looking at the freaking water. So you can just run right past them. It saves so much time. So I'm just going to pay attention and see how much... I can do in an hour when I was originally doing this it was hard to push for 25 artifacts per hour so if I could be shooting over 30 this is gonna be great oh and I may as well mention if you're gonna be doing this uh you want to not touch this patrolman at all you don't want to be the square next to him or on him you will reset him 
So that's why I have that one square mark. So I go to that location and just directly run east. I will admit I fucked it up the first run I did. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not going to go and do like a full guide on this stuff. It's kind of like learn as you do. Ooh, this is going fast. A hundred artifacts. Keep in mind, we did do 50 early on. So we started at 50. So we've done 50 so far in a little over an hour. Um, you can see our speed rates are sitting at 1.6 mil per hour. Now, you can definitely go higher. I've been learning as I go and been improving my method. But as of right now, that's like 35 artifacts per hour. That's crazy. I was getting like upwards of 25 before. Now, I could probably shoot for 40. So that's what I'm going to go for. But yeah, this is going to be crazy good. Now, the question is, are we going to go for all 500? Because 500 artifacts is the last uh, task. And that will put me over 99 thieving. I guess we'll just play it by ear when we get there. So we'll just see how I feel when we do get that level. Another thing that I was told is you can actually skip going north. I used to go north over here. But if you click here right when the guard turns. And then go after he turns again. You save so much time. Like that's so much quicker. So that's why my XP rates are going to keep going up. I'm actually really enjoying this method now that I like know what I'm doing. 90 thieving. This is so fast. Ooh, 1250 total. That's another task. I think it's 50, though. Yeah, 50. Still good. Really rounding out the stats, though. I've just been doing this mindlessly, and we're up to 250 now. Nice. Now the question becomes, do we continue to 500? We're halfway. I think it's probably worth it. Uh, 500 artifacts is 250 points, which is a ton. And basically, it would seal the deal. I would never have to come back here. So I'm leaning on yes, but I guess we'll find out once we keep going. I'm also farming in between. Whenever I need a break, I'm just going and do a farm run. Go to the one in Hosidius, and then if I feel like it, I go to the farm guild, do a couple contracts. So we are collecting a lot of Herblore supplies. And I know I haven't really been talking about Herblore very much, but I'm trying to get 99 banked. Definitely could do it very soon. It's not a very hard skill with the triple harvester perk. Turn in for 99 Thieven. As it stands right now, I think we're almost 300 artifacts. So I'm going to keep going. Pushing the 500 should get me pretty close to 25 mil, which is another task. Finally, it's over. 500 artifacts, man. I know I keep saying that for my grinds, but man, this was, this is a doozy. 23.4 million thieving. And we hit the mark, so that is the last task for artifacts. Gonna claim it. 82.90, not too bad. And there we go, 25 million thieving. So yeah, we took a break. I did not want to do more artifacts. And we decided to come here, back to stone chests. I know, kind of kind of lame coming back here, but 25 mil thieving, let's claim that. Another 250, all the time has paid off. But yeah, I wanted to come back because the lizardman fangs are always going to be an issue for me. To, yeah, we more than doubled the charges we had. I ended up getting two talismans here in 1.6 mil XP. Each chest is, what, 2,800? So we did a decent amount of thieves. Uh, we ended up getting a little over 100,000 crafting, too. Uh, not to mention 11 medium clues, which is way more than I would expect normally. So that's a lot of content right there. Wait, wait, wait. I actually forgot. I made sure to get a bit more XP. I logged out, and I should actually... Be top page thieving. Yes, we are rank 25. Which, I know that's not crazy. This is a limited time game mode. And it's thieving of all things. But I'm proud of myself. I've actually never been top page like anything, really. So, I've just put so many hours into thieving. Like, I've done, like, nothing but this skill for the past, like, two nights. So, I'm proud of it. Anyway, I am grinded out. That was kind of wild. Way too much thieving. We're, we're going to be done now. We're good. We can move on to other things. But I'm glad we did it because we got a gigantic amount of points for it. But I hope you guys are still enjoying this series so far. Don't worry. I'm not done with my Iron Man. I'm actually still playing it. I just needed a nice break from it. Do other content for a bit. So yeah, we will leave these mediums for next time. I kind of want to do them all in one go. And I kind of want to just chill tonight. If you haven't yet, check out my live stream over on Twitch. I'm live almost every single day. Either way, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.